or back on the road. Another bridge. This trip, this hike today, has consisted of the highest concentration of slugs and bridges I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that was the waterfall back there, so we're going somewhere else now. Ah, oh, this is much more manageable, this hike. Look at this. Nice flat, flat walk here. Not like the mountainous terrain I was doing earlier. I'm thinking of going in the spa today as well. Not yet though, I think we'll walk another half an hour and then we've got an hour walk back. Wow, I would have been doing some steps today. Aliens. <laughs> So we're about 45 minutes away from Chamonix. And so far so good, still going strong. Let's go this way. Ah oh, yes. You can feel the bridge wobbling. <laughs> Okay, we've left the bridge behind and we're going to go onwards this way. But I don't think this will be as exciting as the other hikes. I don't think this will be as good because we've passed the waterfall, which was, I mean, how can it get better than that really? Unless we go up into the mountains and get a view, but we can't get a view with all these clouds. So it might be quite boring compared to the previous bits. Never mind. For the first time in about four hours today, I've decided to take a break rest my legs because <laughs> I've been doing so much walking. So I have some water. What you might notice is that these videos are getting progressively longer, longer and longer videos and I feel like that's because the basic travel video format where you have like the cinematic shots, you have the guy you know talking, the music, the house music, that's cool and I, I love those type of videos but they firstly they take a long time to make and secondly I want to give a more natural feeling to the videos. I want to I want to I want it to feel like you're actually there, you know, with me, as opposed to just seeing the best bits. I want you to actually feel like you're exploring the place with me. So that's why I've started doing these different type of videos where it's basically just like a vlog, essentially, isn't it, guys? Okay, what have we got here? So, Glacier de Bosson, Plateau de Pyramids. My accent is terrible, by the way, I know. So Chamonix's back there, about an hour that way. And we've got a restaurant, which I can't go to because I, again, left my money at home. And Bosson. Let's find out what Bosson is. It's this way, isn't it? Yes. Oh, look at that. The mist coming in over the mountains. It just occurred to me that this is actually a mountain biking trail, but I think you can also ski here. I think it is also a ski trail, so that's quite cool. Another bridge. What a surprise. We found another bridge. Seth approves. I definitely approve of this waterfall and this hike. There's another restaurant up here. It actually look like a restaurant. I think it's someone's chalet. What a secluded place to have a house. So that way's to Le Bosson, which is something, something else. 45 minutes. However, here, it's supposedly a point of view. I do like my point of views. So we're gonna go up here and explore this. What is that? Is that a ski lift motor? I 
I can imagine that must be much more beautiful when there's no uh, clouds everywhere. So I think the name of this hike is essentially the point of view, the Le Bosson, whatever the Le Bosson is. I think it just might mean a mountain track or something like this. It seems a bit colder in here now that the woods have now out. Hello! <laughs> well, I'm finding this hike pretty intense, but those kids didn't seem to have a problem with it. Running around like mountain goats. There probably are mountain goats here, actually, now that I think of it. Almost. It was almost a four. Oh, there's a little step for me, lovely. No, that other place was about a mile away. And a mile through this would probably take me about three hours. Especially after I've been walking all day. Never mind, I'll come back and do that one another day. I've got all week to do this, all the time in the world. I love how this is the hiking trail. This is the path, supposedly. I suppose it is a bit of a path, but certainly not for those you know, who have trouble walking on tough terrain. It's not that way, is it? It's down this way. I think I would have really struggled if I tried this about five years ago when I had problems with my knee. Well, the trousers are off, the waterproof ones at least, and I'm sweating, even though I can see my breath. I can see my breath when I breathe. So it's obviously cold up here, but I am really hot. I'm making my way back to Chamonix to get some food, pick up my money, maybe go out. Now I know this is the way, because I remember this little pallet that I had to walk over to get across this little stream here. And then now we've just got a long hike back to Chamonix. Well, the weather's cleared now a little bit. You can start to see a bit more of the view. What a strange insect, look at this. I think it's dead. Oh, it's a beetle. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. There's another one there. And another three there. So why are these beetles all dying? Now, you won't be able to see this because of the wide angle, but there's a black squirrel over there. That's the Aguil du Midi, which is where I'll be going tomorrow. Going up the top there, but I don't know what I'll be able to see, actually, with all this cloud cover. Second rest of the day. I'm surprised I've got through this without resting more, actually. I've been hiking since the, since the early morning. <sighs> Exhausting. <laughs>